Good morning. It's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. And this morning I want to talk about the dichotomy of healing. Um, the opposite factor of healing. The, the reason why we're having the healing war, so to speak. The reason why we're having a hard time integrating the two things that we need to do in order to heal ourselves. So... The first thing that we need to do in order to heal ourselves is be conscious of our thoughts, right? Our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our needs. But we want to be conscious of this. And then once we are, once we are super conscious of our own thoughts, our feelings, we're able to, to spot what's going on internally with us we start to realize that we, our thoughts are powerful, right? And we can create our own future with these thoughts. Thus, we want to create our future healed identity because we want to focus on what we want, not on what we don't want, because the more we focus on what we want, the more we live into that and the more we become it, right? The more we use our own mind and our thoughts to direct the focus of our life and we start to live into that. So that is key when you're trying to heal yourself because you, you want to live from a future healed identity of your dream self, of the self that feels good, that loves being themselves, that feels free and happy and comforted and supported and loving and has lots of friends and is successful and powerful. And you have all these feelings of yourself in that, in that future version of you, right? We're not tied, right? Our needs are met in our future version of ourselves. Our emotional needs, our physical needs, we no longer are tied to suffering or sadness or bondage in any way we're free. We might have lots of friends, lots of family, whatever values become important to us shine in this future image of ourselves. So if we value family, when we see this future self, our family's around us and everything's wonderful. It's like a beautiful picture of what we yearn for. If we value success in our future self, in the version of our future self, we see ourselves successful and having a lot of money and whatever that means to you, right? Powerful and confident and um, successful and, and you know, maybe we have a lot of money and we're able to buy things and share it with people we love and travel the world with people we love, right? If, so whatever it is, your personal values shine in your future version of yourself and that's good because that is who you truly are that is the values that you truly hold within yourself and so when we envision our future healed self all these values and all these qualities that we want that are truly us that's where we're able to actualize them and see them and focus on what we want and the more we do that we can dis identify with what we don't want and when we focus on what we do want we all know that our life goes in that direction that's just how life works the problem is and this is the dichotomy this is the healing war within this is the the opposite factor and why we're having such a hard time healing is because we all know we don't live in the future we live in the now we live in the moment, in the present moment. And in the present moment, our values aren't being met. Our, our life is incongruent with the values that we hold. So whatever is important to us, our needs are not being met. Our emotions, our, you know, our emotional world, our emotional needs and wants are not being met. Right? We are at odds with who we truly are and what we truly want. We don't want a rocky relationship. We don't want to not be successful. We don't want to be in suffering. We don't want to, right? But the fact of the matter is we are, and it is now. So to run away from that and to close our eyes and pretend 
that it is not happening and to disallow ourselves to have the emotions that we're feeling about our current situation is also disingenuous, right? To pretend that we're the healed version of ourselves at all times can sometimes be disingenuous because the problem with it is the current version of yourself or even if you want to take it a step further the past version so we have three versions of ourselves we have the future version we have the current version and we have the past version the current version and maybe even the past version uh, version of yourself requires something their needs are not being met their needs were maybe not met back then or they're not being met now, depending on which version you're living in. So if we're in the current version or the past version, something was not met that we simply can't reconcile. That's called trauma. We're having a hard time letting go of something that happened to us in the past. And we needed something in that moment. And that's why child work is important to go back to that moment and to give that memory, that child in that memory, what it needs so it can feel safe and whole and recognized and actualized so that it can move into the now. When we're in the now, our needs may not be being met and we need them to be met so that we might go into the future creation of our life that we may live from the higher version of ourselves. But we can't expect an injured. Let me give you an analogy. So you have a child who's maybe five years old and there's two rooms. There's a dark room, the room where the child is in and they're sobbing and they're crying. And then we have the room next door and it's light and beautiful with all their toys and all their wonderful things in it. And we want them to come into that room. That is the future healed version of yourself with light and bright and joy and fun and pleasure and all your values being met and everything. But the child isn't there yet. He's in the dark room crying. That child is there. And so we sometimes need to sit with the child where it is to comfort the child, to hold the child, to love the child, to, f to meet the child's needs. And once the child feels safe, once the child feels heard, we can say, you're not staying in this room. I love you, but you're not going to stay in this room now. But if we immediately go in there to the child who's crying and desperately wanting its mother to just comfort it, and we say, come on, you gotta come in this other room, the child might not be ready. But when we hold it, when we meet it where it is, when we love it, when we, when we give that child the comfort that it needs, and it stops crying, it looks around, it feels a little bit better, then we take the child by the hand and say, come with me. The child will come and then we're in the other room, right? So sometimes we need to meet ourselves where we're at. And sometimes we can bring our future or our current self into the future. We can live from that future version of ourselves. We can live from the healed, idealized version of ourselves, the higher version of ourselves, the self that we want to be. And we should try to do that most often. But in both versions, you have needs that need to be met and they have to be met in both versions of yourself. So if you're not meeting your needs in your current present reality, there's no way you can meet them in your version of yourself. So let's think of the future version of yourself for a minute. That person is more free, more loving, more open more comforted, more comforting, more successful, more happy, more joyful, more filled with all its needs are being met in that future idealized version of yourself, your needs, your values, what's important to you is being met. You have that person in your life that makes you feel good. There's no longer, you know, you, you get what you need if you're, if you need love and comfort and care that's being offered to you in the in the future version of yourself whatever is important to you those needs are all met but right now in your current version your needs if you don't meet the needs of that self now here and now 
then they can never be met in the future. So what we often need to do in the dichotomy is, of healing is going from the now to the future, going from the now to the future. Once in a while, going back to the past, healing back there, coming to the now, being in the now, going to the future. So it's a real healing war because we don't know there's merit to all sides, right? To the stillness of being in the now and the presence of sitting with your pain and your suffering and your feelings and your needs and wants here in the now. And there's also merit to living in the future as the actualized version of yourself, to focusing on what you want, not on what you don't want. And thus the internal war of, I should want this version, so I will disown this version. And when we disown ourselves, we're actually becoming further away from that future healed version of ourselves that we want. We're becoming further away from that person that we want because we're not giving care, we're not giving attention, we're not giving love, we're withholding, we're turning away from. Our future self would never do that to this version of ourself. They would be amazing and loving and open and kind and caring and they would comfort this self as a child, right? You would never turn your back. If you were your, your future idealized self, you would never turn your back and hurt or be cruel to this version of yourself right here, right now. And so healing isn't necessarily moving in the now or creating your future. It is blending both. Sometimes you need to bring that future healed version of yourself back into this moment and to feel the suffering and the pain and to comfort this person, to love this person, to guide this person, to say, I hear you, I see you. What you want is available to you in the future. Look at me, I'm here. Come with me, take my hand. I'll sit with you here, but I'd like you to come with me. Come with me. They keep guiding your now self towards the future, right? They keep showing them by example what's available in the future. They keep reminding them that it's good there, that they, this is the path that they need to take, right? If they want to feel those things actualized. But they're not mean, they're not rough, they're not forceful, they don't abandon or turn away from, they guide, they love, they hold out their hand and they say, come with me. So, hello, sorry my video cut out. I'm going to have to figure out how to splice these together one day so that I don't have to keep making two separate videos. But let's talk about what we're talking about, which is the dichotomy of healing, the opposite factor of healing, the healing war within, and the war between being in the now, focusing on the pain, allowing yourself to be with your feelings of pain and suffering, and to just be in the stillness and the presence of that feeling now, and to be able to disidentify with it and just allow it and allow it to be, and to be using the healing method of future projection and focusing on what we want, not on what we don't want and letting our thoughts guide our reality of our life to a better place. And they're both important. They're both important healing modalities that we must do in order to heal. We can't just do one if we always just focus in the now and we always let ourselves feel the pain and the suffering and allow that to be all there is. And that's all there is, right? But if we are always focused in the future and disowning the pain of the now and forsaking it because we don't, we only want to focus on, you know, guiding our life to this better version of ourselves, then we're also missing out on the healing that we need to be doing in the now. So they are both important and we need to be able to jump back and forth from both of them. And basically what we're trying to do is merge the two, merge the two. We don't make one wrong and one right, and one right and one wrong. We, when we are having overwhelming feelings, emotions, uh, sensations in the now, in the now, right here, right now, then we will this is a nice little spot. I'm just going to stand here for a minute. So 
um, sorry, I get so distracted when people walk by and I have to talk in front of people. It's just something I've just never been comfortable with. Anyway, when we're focused here in the now, we can do a lot of healing because we can sit with our pain. We can love our pain. We can mother our pain. We can comfort our pain. We can allow it. We can tell it that it's not wrong. We can allow it to be what it is and feel how it feels because that is the, a need that hasn't been met by it yet. That is really truly what it needs to do. But when we wallow with it, when we let it go on too long, when we when we allow it to believe that this is all there is, then we're doing it as disservice. We need to take this part of ourselves and say, there is a future part to this. Sorry, another person. And you need to pick yourself up, look in the direction of your future, and create what you want to happen. Right? So there's stillness and there's action. Right? There's allowing and there's creating so we need to do both we need to allow what's truly happening and allow our needs to be met here and today and we need to create who we want to become who we already are and bring them back sometimes into the now and sometimes we need to take this now person and bring it into the future so it's blending the two it's finding that one is not bad and one is not good. We need both in order to heal. And the people who always stay in creating their future self and never allow their current emotions or feelings or pains or suffering to be heard or expressed or comforted or important or have their needs being met in the now, can't and won't heal. And the people who are only feeling what's going on in the now and not allowing themselves to create the future that they actually want cannot heal because they are going to stay stuck where they are. And the last thing you want is somebody to stay stuck where they are. But we also can't allow, we can't pull somebody forward to where they don't want to go yet. We can't drag your now self into the future kicking and screaming if it doesn't want to go. Sometimes a child will say, I just need this. I just need you to hear me first. I just need this first. And then you can take it by the hand and guide it to where you want it to go. Sometimes you just need to hold that child, let it cry, let it be heard, and then guide it to where you want it to go. So it's a back and forth between we are guiding our future life. We don't want to continue to look back here. We don't want to stay stuck here. We aren't allowing ourselves to stay stuck anymore. But it doesn't mean that we can't meet our needs along the way. So although we're not going to be stuck, we may take a rest. We may take a break. We may say, okay, you've done enough work for today. Now you need to sit. Now you need the day off. Now you need a little comfort. Now you just want to be held, right? Sometimes with a kid, they're... they're they're doing all kinds of work, homework, all kinds of stuff. They get home from school and you just say, you need a break. Come on. Come into my arms. Let me hold you a little bit. Take a mental break. Watch a, a little TV show. Maybe play hooky from your activities tonight. Whatever it is. Because you can tell that this child just needs a break. And that's okay. They're not going backwards. They're still moving forwards. They're still getting up and going to school the next day and their activities the next night. But sometimes we can't go full steam ahead. Um... All the time every day and that's okay so what we need to do is meet our needs in the future ver version self of you need to have your needs met you need to know what your values are and you need to be able to meet those needs now you need to meet them now as well you can't expect yourself to trust your future ver version self if you don't meet its needs here in the now, if you don't love it, if you don't comfort it, if you don't care for it, if you don't listen to it, if you don't allow it to speak and be heard. So we must allow our feelings to be heard, to be seen, our emotions to rise up, but we don't have to stay there. We don't have to commiserate it and say, yeah, you're right. Everything is wrong. All we have to do is listen and then say, it's not so bad. Come with me. It's better over here. Right? So we're guiding, we're gently guiding 
our way into the future version self and we're asking this current version self of ourselves this now self to trust us to come with us that we know that that's what they want yes they need to cry and they need to be heard but we know it's better over here and we want them to trust us and come with us over here so yes it is confusing healing is confusing it's it's so confusing because first we think it's diet and then we think it's supplements and then we think it's lifestyle and then we think it's mind body work and then we think it's creating our own futures and then we you know and then we think it's going into our past and and, and healing all our past traumas but really it's a blend it's a blend of everything it's a blend of treating our body right of getting our needs met of feeling whole again a feeling integrated, a feeling safe in this world, a feeling protected and calm and successful and happy and loved and safe and free to be yourself, free to be yourself, free to be the truest version of the person that you are without repercussions of abandonment or shame or guilt or being judged or criticized or cut off from the tribe in any way. So you're working to integrate yourself back together here back together so that you may actualize the true and real person that you are and live the future life of your dreams right and you need to be kind to all the parts of yourself you need to love and to lead by example by loving that self by not criticizing that self by not judging that self by not abandoning any parts of yourself right this is your job as the creator this is your job as the healer, as the self healer, is to, to be all that all yourselves need you to be, right? To allow that self to be heard and loved and safe in all the current versions of itself, to guide it where you want it to go and to listen to it and allow its needs to be met all the time along the way. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's made some sense. I hope it's cleared a few things up. I know someone asked a question of me and I did my best to explain my thoughts in this video. It doesn't mean I'm right, it doesn't mean I'm wrong, but this is, this is my thoughts from my experience and everything I've learned along the way is that healing's complicated, right? That's why it takes so long sometimes to figure these things out. And we really need to, to be okay with the different aspects of ourselves, the different aspects of our needs, our values, our wants, our desires, and our feelings, our past, our present, and our future. We need to blend them and we need to be okay with that and we need to love ourselves, right? It all comes down to self-love. What would somebody who loves themselves do, loves themselves unconditionally, do in this moment and then just do that. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.